Okay, so let's start. On the left side, you're gonna you see a Word document, and this is the Word template that we created in a previous video on how to create a WGU uh, research papers uh, Word template. Um, and on the right side, you have the WGU student portal, and specifically, we're going to work with the library. So let's start with the Word document. Um, you, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom of the document, you see that I already have a references section um, that has two uh, fake citations. So if I click on the title, you'll see there's an option to update it. Now, the way I manage this section is I go into references tab on the Microsoft Word, manage sources, and here you see these two uh, fake cite, uh, references. So let's uh, delete them. Close the window, update, and now they're gone. So the way you manage uh, um, sources in Microsoft Word is through this tab, and particularly with the manage sources and insert citation. So manage sources, this is where you have all of your previous um, sources that you've used in, in um, uh, other documents that you wrote. And this is really great because this allows you to reuse uh, articles or sources that you find relevant in multiple documents. So for example, if I just randomly choose, you know, and as you can see, I have a lot of different uh, uh, sources because uh, I wrote a lot of papers uh, for WGU. And if you close this and I go here to update, I get all these um, sources uh, that I can use in my document. So let's delete these. All right. Now, I want to give you a very important tip. Uh, I believe that the best way to manage uh, citations and sources is to gather them all before you start working on the document. And it really makes sense to me because think about it. You have to do the research before you go and write the paper. So it makes sense for you to kind of collect all the possible citations uh, and sources uh, ahead of time. And of course, you might not use all of them, but I always would create this list of possible uh, articles that I would want to cite and then use whatever was I felt was relevant when I was writing the document. So really, try to do this before you write the document and not as you're writing the document or, God forbid, at the end of writing the document, just go back and try to sprinkle some citations because that's going to be very stressful for you. So now let's move to the library um, uh, part. So to get to the library, you log into the student portal, you go to the Success Center, and you're gonna click on the library. What would open is this window. Now, this window allows you to search for different articles, search for books, uh, you know, whatever is relevant. Now remember, for WGU, um, anything you find using this library tool is a valid citation. Sometimes if you just search for a website or just use Google, uh, that's not going to be considered a valid uh, a source to use for a paper. But if you're using the library, then you know for sure that this is something that you can use and cite and evaluators will be fine with. So let's start typing something, for example, leadership. And look, what's really nice is that you're going to get these uh, possible uh, search a uh, term. So for example, I'll click on leadership theories and click on search. And then you're going to get all the possible search results. Now, one thing I want to pay, I want you to pay attention to is this thing called research status. You're not always going to have it, but when you do, it's really worth uh, 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 looking um, into because what it really does, it gives you a summary of the topic and then kind of all, all different possibilities of, uh, of things you can search uh, that are related to that term. And for me, it was very helpful many times when I kind of knew what I was looking for, but I wasn't sure. Uh, this research starter really helped me kind of find more specifically what I was looking for. Let's go back. And then you get all the different uh, articles or... Uh, uh, books or whatever. So let's, for example, go ahead and cite this first one, uh, Adaptive or Transactional Leadership in Current Higher Education. So we're going to click on it. And what you're going to get here is this kind of 
pre-article. So this is not the article itself. It's kind of a summary, a pre-article before you go ahead and, 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 and read the article. And this is really important because this is how you're going to cite the article, but it also has this abstract section. And what's really nice about this abstract section, it this allows you to read the article, a summary of the article, and it's never more than one paragraph, two paragraphs, and decide if you really want to go ahead and read the full text. Um, many times I would think I would read the um, the uh, um, um, name of uh, the title of an article, but then when I would read the abstract, I would be like, nah, this is not really what I'm looking for. So always take uh, a, a, a few minutes to read the abstract and decide, is it worth at all to go ahead and read the full text? So let's assume we did read the abstract and we do want to read the full text. What I would do right now is go ahead and create a citation, uh, uh, sorry, create a, a, a source in my Microsoft Word for this article. Now, I might not end up citing it, but this is a good time for me at least was to go ahead and add it into the list of possible references. So we're going to go into here. We're going to click on new um, type of source. You have a lot of different types for us. It's journal article. Um, author, we're going to click on edit and then just add. Here we have one, but if you have multiple, of course, you're going to add as many as needed. Con nut V. I'm going to add. All right, and then you're going to copy the name of the article. Control C. Title. Uh, the journal name. International Review. Right. Uh, the year, it's 2017. They even give us the month, we'll, which we'll add in a moment. Pages, which starts with P, so that will be pages 178 to 183. And then you want to click on Show All Fields because we have to add some extra information. So they told us the artist article was May 2017, so uh, the month we can add and you this you're not always going to have this but if you do you want to go ahead and add it and then we're going to look for volume and issue so v stands for volume so we're going to put 18 and then the n is going to be our issue number three issue number three um excellent that's it we're going to click ok and we're going to get the apa style um, source. Now, if you want to kind of make sure you got it right, you always have the option here to go to Cite in the WGU library and then scroll to find the APA style and you can kind of compare. And if you compare this to what we just created, it's exactly the same. Perfect. Okay, let's close this. Let's go to our references, click Update. Now, remember, at this point, we just created a list of references. We did not actually go and cite it. So, obviously, we want to go and read the document. We're going to click on full text. And, you know, we're not going to read it right now, but, you know, <laughs> I would expect you to go uh, and, you know, ac actually read it. And But, you know, even here you have abstracts. And remember, um, you, you shouldn't go and read every article uh, that you find just to realize that you it's not relevant. You want to uh, skim through it, read the abstract, the introduction, and then uh, based on that information decide if it's worth to go ahead and spend the time to read the full article. But at this point we just created a list of uh, references. We did not actually cite it. In order to cite it we have to go to uh, wherever in the document we're writing. So let's pretend this is an area. We'll click uh, this is a citation, and then we go into uh, references, insert citation, choose the relevant article, and we're done. So that's it. I hope this helped you. Uh, if you have any comments, just uh, add them in the section uh, uh, below. And as usual, uh, good luck with your degree.